Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and hi. My name is Rona Hamdi bin Harir. My student ID is 2019-660324 and I'm from 52 Today, I want to discuss about the current issue in the seed technology, which is the potential of seed prior as a carrier technology in waste. Seed priming technologies are gaining attention as a viable and promising way to boost crop productivity under adverse environmental situations. Seed priming techniques can improve morphophysiological processes, regulate plant hormones, reprogram gene expression, and stimulate essential enzyme metabolism. What is a seed priming? A pre solving application of treatments whereby seeds are hydrated in either water and osmotic solution, water or osmotic solution with a supplement, for example, plant extract or plant hormones, or through contact with a wet solid carrier to begin the germination process, increase metabolic activity. Prior to radical energy, this process is interrupted and the seeds are normally dry for further handling and storage. Priming has two goals, which is to increase and uniform generation and strength and speed, as well as to boost seeding growth and establishment. In most cases, orthodox seeds germination involves three different stages. Phase 1, seed hydration process involving passive imbibition of dry tissue and the first appearance of water in the upper plastic gaps. Phase 2, the activation phase, which is related with, a, with the re-establishment of metabolic activities and cellular repair processes. Phase 3, the beginning of the growth processes that lead to cell expansion and radical protrusions. Phase 1, phase one and 3, both include an increase in water content, whereas space 2 maintains hydration. Germination is supposed to be a re reversible process before the completion of phase 2, as it can be, uh, be dry again and keep alive during a storage, allowing them to reinitiate germination under ideal conditions. During the reversible stage of germination, a variety of approach can be used. They vary widely depending on the priming solution's osmotic potential, the duration, the surrounding temperature, and the presence of specific chemical substances. The effective treatment activates metabolic processes that are then temporarily inhibited before a loss of drying occurs during phase 2 of germination. Priming methods and priming agents First, hydro-priming the simplest method of seed priming is hydro priming, which involves immersing seed in the pure water and drying them to their original moisture content before sowing. This method is a low cost and environmentally safe because it does not need any additional chemical compounds as a priming agent. Second, osmo priming. Seeds are soaked in osmotic solution with a low water potential. Water enters six slowly due to the low water potential of osmotic solution, allowing slow seed inhibition and attenuation of early phase of germination, but preventing radical protrusions. Polyethylene, glycol, PEG, mannitol, sorbitol, glycerol, and inorganic salts are among the chemicals utilized in the osmopriming method. Third is a solid metric priming. Seeds are combined and incubated with a moist solid water carrier for a period during solid metric priming. After that, the seeds are removed from the matrix, rinsed and dry again. Solid medium priming seeds to hydrate more slowly, simulating the natural inhibition process in the soil. Solid carrier used in the solid metric priming include vermiculite, pig moss, charcoal, sand, clay, and others. Fourth is hormone priming. Seed inhibition happens in the presence of plant growth regulators 
during hormone priming, which can have a direct impact on the sick metabolism, adhesive acids, auxin, glucuronides, kinetins, ethylenes, polyamines, and cyclic acid are some of the most often used hormone regulators for hormone priming. Pipe is a bioprimate. Six inhibitions combined with a bacterial seed inoculations in bioprimate. After the germination, several bacteria used as a biocontrol agents can enter the root system and help the plants in a both direct and indirect ways. For example, the use of bioprimate with a plant growth promoting bacteria, PGPB. Bioprimate was discovered to be more beneficial than other disease management efforts, such as pelleting and film coating. And lastly, seeds is others. Chemical priming is the process of treating seeds with the various chemical solutions as a priming agent. Priming with a variety of natural and synthetic chemicals is a part of the strategy. The importance of seed priming First, speed up and uniform of germination. Prime seeds are sometimes have a high germination rate and more uniform germination. Regular crop development may be enhanced by increase in uniform seed emergence. Second is the plant grow. Plant grow from prime seeds grow more quickly than those grown from unprimed seeds. Third is mineral nutrition. Nutrient, nutrient based on seed priming, priming is an effective approach for improving, improving mineral nutrition of young seedling. Early crop development was enhanced by phosphorus seed priming, which may substitute for soil phosphorus deficit. Uh, pot is an efficient and increased plant, plant density also because of priming induced increase in germination percentage could also result in increased skin. And lastly, it's fat is tolerant to stress. Most of the research conducted on the seedling produce from the front seeds reveal a significant increase in resistance to environmental limitations. Some seedling receive priming treatment, for example, tolerant to chili, low and high temperature, salinity, Drug and UV exposure show improvement. Zinc seed priming enhances sun tolerance in males. By lowering nutrient intake and plant growth, such stress is a serious limitation production issue in crops. Reduced water and nutrient intake cause a nutritional imbalance in response to salinity. Furthermore, mineral solubility is reduced under high pH in saline environments, resulting in an adequate supply of some nutrients, which makes plants treated to sodium chloride as a salt stress, the potential of pausing seed priming to overcome this limit was examined. This table shows the study about the seed priming treatments that is used in these experiments. Mass seeds were prime prime is in the ionized water and a zinc sulfate solution for 24 hours before being a air dry at room temperature. The zinc distribution in the seeds was demonstrated using the DTZ staining procedure in the inductively coupled plasma mask spectroscopy was used to examine zinc and other nutrient content in unprimed water and zinc seed and mass plants. Due to the higher level of zinc oxidation and increased formation of the zinc DTZ complex, the intensity of the red color on the surface of zinc prime seeds was much greater than that of water prime seeds. Thus, uh, the outer layer, which is other sections of the zinc prime seeds, show the most formations. Under glass house formations, mass plants were cultivated for three weeks in a full nutritional solution with or without substrates. Substrate had an unfavorable impact on the plant growth, while zinc priming reduced it. Plant biomass production from zinc treatment was 25 higher than that of the water priming treatments under substrate conditions. Plant growing in the roof control and the substrate environment 
will be from the zinc supplements in terms of near nutritional status. Plant treated with the zinc accumulated more sodium in the your shoe as well. This is open up possibility for employing zinc supplements to enhance healthy developments and nutritional status in the substrate plants. Growing from zinc seeds grew better, better when exposed to substrates. In comparison to the water plant treatment, zinc plants show improved growth and decreased leaf paralysis, indicating improved substrate tolerance. Zinc can maintain plant growth for up to four weeks under zinc deficient conditions, according to the result on plant height. Chlorophyll concentrations and fresh and dry biomass production. However, zinc coal will not maintain the plant development under such stress when compared to the plants cultivated under normal conditions. This shows a significant boost in the oil growth ratio when compared to the water uh, priming. In conclusion, seed germination effect is essential in agriculture. The early seedling establishments need a fast and uniform emergence as well as group growth. After that, seed priming is a tool for improving the quality of seeds through the various methods and agents of priming. As a result, the study of a zinc sulfate as a seed priming in the maize was proved that the young maize can adapt to the salinity environment in terms of plant growth, chlorophyll contents, and better nutrient status of maize plants under stress conditions. I hope in the future, the research and development are and about seed technology for puppies to increase the production of various seeds of crops. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you.